good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things, but try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrus is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Bastila any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order. But they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. I hope you're right, but the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with the support of the Jedi Council. I think Basila may be the galaxy's last hope. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers, but that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is, well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila. 
Not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. 